You listening? Okay. <laughs> Basically, there's this guy named William that moved from England to town called Oregon with his wife and three kids. That means this guy named Henry. And the two of them form a friendship and start a family diner and pizzeria called Fred Best Family Diner. Now the money is tight, so to save on cash, you have to come up with these animatronic mascots that can be cranked up into work as suits. Seems pretty smart, right? Run, dummy! See if the spring locks get loose on these suits, they turn back to animatronics and crush the person in them. Anyway, getting ahead of myself here. Basically, this William guy's bad news. See, one day, Henry his dad at Charlie, he's having a birthday party at the diner. The other kids are mean though, and they lock her outside. What does William do when he sees this? A freaking drag turns to the holly and kills her, that's what he does. Now, Henry built this safety puppet to watch over his dad. But the puppet was stuck inside a box when this was happening. When the puppet gets out, goes out to try and protect her. But it's raining, so the freaking animatronic breaks down too. So what happens is that Charlie's spirit actually inhabits the animatronic puppet. And buddy, that is just the tip of the iceberg. See, William's oldest son is a real Japan. Face to his human son, even. On even's birthday in 1983, I go to the diner, and Henry actually shoves even into Fred Bear's mouth. Freaking crazy, right? So the spring locks fail, and Fred Bear chomps even's head, putting him into a command and killing him a few weeks later. This here is a breaking point for William. The guy starts putting on a spring bunny and a metronic sword and using it to look kids into the back room. Once he gets him back there, freaking kills them. He does this five times before getting caught. Thing is, though, nobody can find the body, so William gets let off the hook. As it turns out, Hands the buddies inside the animatronics. Not Charlie, since the spirit is inside the puppet. She starts putting the kid's spirits into the animatronics they were stuffed in. So right now, the puppet, Chica the Chicken, Bunny the Bunny, Freddy Fazbear, Folks the Bar 8, and Unders Golden Freddy Fazbear, and Original Fredbear all have the ghosts of children in them. After this missing children incident, William gets fired from his own company. That ghost would stop him though! His new soul company after robotics to work for the sister company called Circus Baby's Pizza World. There, William starts making these robots that are designed to kill kids. Crazy right! Well, as it turns out, William figured out how to be immortal. See, when kids die, they produce this material called Remnant. You can basically use this Remnant stuff to keep your soul inside of something. William figures this out after killing those first five kids, so now he starts trying to use it for his own good. Problem is, even though his youngest son is dead, and his oldest son has moved out, William still has his death after Elizabeth with him. William makes this really cool animatronic called Circus Baby who can dance, sing, make a scream, and do a whole bunch of other cool stuff. When his death after Elizabeth gets too close to Baby, and then she's capturing mechanism activates. So now two of William's three kids are dead by his own hand. William pretty much loses it here. He kills his wife and puts her into another machine called Bellarin. All this does not last very long, though. See, Circus Baby's is a world closed before he even had the chance to open. Now William is all alone and on the loose. Now it's 1987. There's a new fast bear visiting a new location. They have all the old suits with the dead kids in them in the back room, but now they've got these new animatronics that are not only safer, but also have facial recognition software to dead criminals. This is all in case William comes back, you see. So anyway, since none of the spring lock suits are at this location, William instead is the Golden Freddy suit since it's broken, unnosed, and mostly empty. It kills another five kids, which are in the Todd Freddy, Todd Body, Todd Cheek, and Todd Folks, which we call the Mangle, and Balloon Boy. Oh, I should mention, Charlie's here again too for some reason. Like the rest of the 1983 animatronics, which are nosed in the back. Charlie's puppet is still used by the prize counter. So anyway, this is the second missing children incident. Now the place gets closed down, but before they knew that, they have one last party on November the 10th, 1987. I freaking lose my frontal lobe to mangle and die a few weeks later, but that's not important. What's important here is that in the restaurant closed down. So now it's some time after 1987. William somehow gets a message out of his son Mitchell and his sister and mom are trapped in six. Some animatronics at the now closed down Circus Baby's Bizzle World. And that he needs to set them free, since the whole building is automated. They think that he's an employee. So Mitchell works at the building for a week while the building is attempting to rip it all. He gets tricked by the animatronics and they getting scooped. See, what happens is that, during the week, all the robots in the facility tear themselves apart and reform themselves into a gag mask called Enna. And it brings Mitchell to the scope room where he gets injected with Remnant. Then his organs get scoped out and then introduce him as a skin sword to escape the facility. After the robots escape and Mitchell is reanimated as a walking corpse, he goes to find his father and then all the suffering. The first place he tries is to know Freddy Fazbear Piss and that opens in 1990. This reopening is the original location of Fred Bay's family diner, and where's the original cast of Freddy, Fox, Chica, and Bonnie? They even were for gold Freddy, but they never use him. Since Mitchell was blacklisted after getting his brother killed, he's a fake name. Mike Skimmit, to get a job at the no place. However, after a week of working, with all the animatronics trying to kill him, 
Thinking that he's his batter, he gets fired and the place shuts down. Mitchell wouldn't find William until 2023 with Fast Bear Fright, but before that happens, we need to talk about what happened to William. See? William just come back to the original location. He knows that the kids all live inside the animatronics, and he can't have that, so he goes to the building after it's being shut down to try and dismantle them. See, all Fast Bear locations include a hidden room that is off the map and invisible to animatronics for storage. Also for spring lock, failing victims to bleed out and so that the children don't see. William hides in his room, coming out to dismantle the animatronics so he tears down all five of them. However, once he does this, the ghost manifests and attack William forcing him to hide in the old spring body sword that's been rotting in the room since 1983. It puts it on and lets it down, but the spring locks fail and he gets crushed. Since William has been injecting himself with Rayman for years, and come back to life after getting crushed inside his sword, doesn't have any will of his own being locked in the room on the 2023. In 2023, the amusement park opens up a scary attraction called Fast Bear Fright, which was a bunch of old Fast Bear artifacts from the old locations as a horror attraction. They find this old spring bunny sword in the head and room and transport him to Fast Bear Fright, where Michael is working. This is the moment he's been waiting for. After a week of working at the location, Michael used the fall to wearing in the building as an extra to set fire to it, killing William once and for all and freeing the remaining trapped souls, who have also been haunting Michael for the week he was working there, or so he thought. As it turns out, William survives the fire, rebuilds the parts of the network, destroyed with the leftover parts in the building, and escapes to kill some more. Now we have the puppet, in the, and William all off on their own in the whip. And it gets tired of Elizabeth controlling him. So they kick Elizabeth out. And she rebuilds herself as a new version of Baby. Now call it Scrap Baby. And then the dons a new mask and calls themselves Molten Freddy. Who also happens to have the spirits of the five children from the toy animatronics in it now. This is where Henry steps in. Once Henry learns of the suffering that has been happening. And death is a plan to bring all the animatronics back to one place so he can destroy and free them all. And creates an animatronic called Lefty. Which is to capture his data. When Michael finds out about all this he goes to the no fake misery and brings all of the animatronics back together. Once they are all there Henry locks the building and burns it all down on with himself and Michael's still in it, freeing the remaining souls of Lizzie, Charlie, William's wife, and the remaining children inside of Mold and Freddy. After this, William's soul is sent to hell, where the souls of the children he daughtered get to daughter him for all eternity. Or so they think. See, some time before being killed, William used his genius to scratch his own memories and consciousness and then recall on some other components of the animatronics. The problem with Henry's plan was that Fazbear Entertainment wasted it all in his own hands, and was actually still running as its own company at this point. See, some time during the events of the games, an any of his game developer was hired by Fazbear Entertainment to make their video games as a way of making the real story seem like fiction. After that, they didn't hire a different company called Silver Parasol Games to create the Freddy Fazbear Virtual x rays to make it seem as if the previous games were wrong and the dog will discredit the real stories of the children getting killed. The problem, though, is that Fast Bear Entertainment provides Silver Parasol with some computer chips to scan in in order to make the animatronics more realistic. When they do this, Willing's conscience is code is brought in the game. Massacally bringing him back to life in a video game. During Devil Bent, this robot William called Glitchtrap programs itself to be able to take over Tester's body, essentially bringing William Afton back to life. William is first able to control a Devil Open named Jeremy, but he decides that Jeremy isn't a good candidate, so he controls Jeremy and makes him kill himself using a gobble paper slicer. Glitchtrap tries to control the named player of the game, but the player manages to defeat him and lock him away. However, before this happens, Glitchtrap finds a host named Vanson and decides to use her. After the Freddy Fast Bear Virtual Experience, as well as as an added Halloween dolt, Fast Bear Entertainment and commissioned the creation of a gin mall called the Fast Bear Mega Pizzaplex. During the time that the Mega Pizzaplex was running, multiple animatronics would switch around and the trade just started again. But before we go into the events that transpired there, we have to talk more about Vincent and another individual known as Patient 46. Patient 46 to be a tech-savvy genius, but is also at the same time a chill. I can tell they are treated and referred to by the various therapists that we hear their sessions from. But well, it's clear that Patient 46 and Vincent to different people. It is unknown for certain who Peyton 46 is. What is known is that Peyton 46 spends a lot of time at the Physiplex before the events of Security Breach and helps for program to say to him and believe that they are working with Vanny. Vance is all took a while under the control of William. What else is known is that Peyton 46 lied about whatever happened to their family. The six in tape reveals that they actually had a great children. Vance is known also to have had a terrible father named Bill Eckert in the tape three. Apparently Vance is that forced to lie during a custody hearing between him and her mother leading to her mother doing something afterwards. Likely committing suicide. Anyway, the events preceding security breach include at least nine more missing people, likely all children. 
as well as multiple Mazinga Rivers who were likely killed by Vanny. At some point, Bonnie the Bunny is replaced by a new animatronic named Montgomery Gator. This happens following a night where Bonnie went down to Monty's golf course and then was on scene afterwards. Many speculate that Monty may have killed Bonnie or dismantled him in order to make his way into the main cast, but we do not know for sure. What we do know, however, is that Monty took over Bonnie's role in the main cast. Broken Wolf, another new animatronic, also took over Funk's role, but there's no given explanation for this. One night, after most of the animatronics have been reprogrammed, Glamrock Freddy, the newest version of Freddy Fazbear, malfunctions and shuts down on stage. When he wakes up, he learns that he was put in low power mode, likely freeing him from the reprogramming that Bait 46 did to everyone else. Also, when he wakes up, a boy named Gregory reveals to have been hidden inside of his chest cavity. Gregory is a homeless orphan of unknown relation to anyone else during the events of Security Breach. Some have speculated that Bait and 46 is Gregory, but there seemed to be lower difference between the two characters that conflict. Others believe that Gregory is in an electronic himself, as his hair and eyes are noticeably different to Vince. And the book Tales from the Pizzaplex includes an animatronic that looks like a home and chill that is about the same size as Gregory. What more, Gregory's vision seems to distort at times. His eyes are cameras that are receiving interference. However, none of this is known for sure. Gregory and Glimrock Freddy find that the Mega Pizzaplex is built on top of the fake restaurant that was used to lure William Afton in years prior. Van using Vance's body, locate William Afton's corpse and renaming him inside of a wretched station stolen from the Pizzaplex. William Afton plans to control all of the animatronics the Pizzaplex remotely and begin to kill children again. But Gregory and Freddy stop him. The last we see of William Affin is him being grabbed by the spirits of the recently killed nine people inside of a large machine known as the Blob. The game canonically ends with Gregory and Freddy escaping the Pizzaplex and relaxing on a hell. It is likely that with the destruction of the Pizzaplex, Vancy is freak from Vanny, but we do not know for sure. And this is where our story ends for now. Eventually there will be more Dulcan updates for Security Breach, but until that happens, this has been the end of Five Nights at Freddy's Game Lore.